Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 21 of the Jimson and Roscoe show. Um, today we are joined by Sophie, Sophie a.k.a. Cloudy, Cloudy Lemonade. Lemonade. A.k.a. I am Brew. <laughs> I am Brew. Um, I am Brew, oh my God. Before we get on, I'm going to say to you lot, don't forget to like, subscribe and smash that bell button, you fucking bellends. Um, and I'm still seeing 70% of you are not subscribing. It's a sort of amp. Sort of amp. Subscribe. So, Sophie, three good things that happened to you today. Oh, God. None. <laughs> None. That must be. I've had a journey from hell today. Really? Yeah, yeah. I had a um, guy take a video of me randomly just on his phone, hoping I wouldn't notice and, you know, creep me out a bit, so I ran away. Did you didn't, didn't confront him? No, I did confront him. You did? He, he ignored me. Mm. Like, he completely ignored me. Weirdo. The only yeah. good thing I did find was aircon. <laughs> aircon. <There you> go. <laughs> but then I had to way... move away from it because of this man. <laughs> you said on your way here that you got home at 9.30. Therefore, that's today. So from What 12 happened prior to, yeah, between 12 and 9.30. You must have had three things that happened to you that was good. I had two hours sleep at least. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just don't know. <laughs> Today's just been hell. I just some don't, con. I found You've some aircon. I had two hours sleep. And that lady recognised you, the YouTuber. Oh wait, no. This was at this was at the party last night. This Af was yeah. after midnight. After midnight. After after midnight. No, I would say you no. Yeah, no. It was lie. after there midnight. Just lie. Just lie. Yeah. <laughs> no. Do you know what? I can't remember? But we'll just say it was after midnight. Yeah. I'd, yeah last night was f so. Yeah, I've had a lot of good things happen to me there today. You I'd say. That's what I mean. You know, I went to um, a party last night for Michael Daffer's birthday, and it was sponsored by Malibu. So we got to try the new Malibu watermelon. Nice. Flavor, which, How was that? Uh, disgusting. Yeah. Coconut mm. and watermelon together. Mm. I just don't know. Maybe I don't like Malibu anyway, man. No, I, I like normal Malibu, but I don't know. it was interesting. Like it was interesting. Mm. It was interesting. But yeah, I had a lot of fun. Ate food. Got McDonald's twice. Nice. So I'd say that that's probably the main thing that's happened. That's the good thing. Food. Double McDonald's. Double McDonald's. <laughs> a McDonald's breakfast and then a normal McDonald's. Mad. That's, yeah. That's really it. <laughs> nice. Cool. Cool. What do you want to talk about, James? What do I want to talk about? Mm. Got any notes for this? Huh? Got any notes for this? I haven't, no. Um, cause I've still, it was still last week that I was in Cornwall and I'm just really underprepared. I did actually have some notes because you were supposed to come on last time, actually. Yeah. Mm. Um, well, we'll start with what you do. Yeah, so yeah. So, like, tell, yeah, tell, so apart from, like, being people, a human being, like, what would you being, consider yourself as? Um, like, an influencer. An influencer. Yeah, Instagram influencer and a model as well. So, okay. it's quite interesting, I suppose. So, how did you get into it? Um, I would say when I got back from uni last year, obviously when Corona and lockdown happened, mm -hmm. I, um, just, well, I was just bored. So I was just like to my sister, like, why don't you just take a couple of pictures of me? So I can post them to Instagram. I probably had about 1,000, 2,000 followers at this time. So it mm -hmm. wasn't anything special. Yeah. It was just, oh, I just wanted something to post because I have nothing to post mm. and I haven't posted in a while. So posted and then I just started getting more into it and posting and people seemed to like it and because I was like more myself on my stories as well like just being an idiot just acting like really weird and goofy like which is what I am anyway mm. and people just seem to really like it so people then, crave that stuff man yeah people I think people like it when you're more like authentic with yourself mm. as well and you're not being fake on social media yeah, yeah. like I I would honestly hate myself if I thought that I was ever being fake or anything mm -hmm. on social media because that's just not me so I just always try to be as realistic as I can on social media obviously to the point where I think you know this is yeah that's it right mm. but um yeah I just started you know messing around was being an influencer anything you'd ever like crossed your mind before I would say that when I was like younger maybe like 16, 17, mm. you used to see people on Instagram with maybe like 5,000 or 10,000 followers and think, mm. oh my God, this looks amazing. Like, cause you'd see them get like free stuff. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, like the, the plus ons that you get from it are actually really beneficial mm. and it like really helps as well. Mm. So I was just like, at that age, I was like, oh, it'd be amazing to do that. But I never thought that I would 
do it if that makes sense yeah. like mm. it, I, like I never thought I'd actually get to the point of doing it but I always thought about that would be cool yeah. to be able to do in life mm -hmm. and um obviously you look up to people like say like Molly May and everyone like that on Instagram and you see all the, the amazing stuff that you're doing and I think it just motivates you to obviously try harder and work mm. harder as well yeah because I think that's one of the positive because we were talking about because we had uh DJ Manuka on I don't know how many weeks ago now mm. but we were talking about Starboy Rody, um, Cyrus, yeah. and what he's doing. So he's basically like bar spot. And I was, I was saying then, I was like following people like that who are around the world, but they're also doing good things. And it's just like, it is inspiring. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I think it's um, massively important to fill your timeline with people that are inspiring. inspiring. Yeah. Not, do you mean? Because there is so much fucking doom oh, and gloom me. and... Yeah. If you negativity, yeah. If you follow like this is how I see it with like social media as well. If you follow like the wrong people on social media, then that's how your personality is gonna come mm. intertwined with. Yeah. You're, if you're if you're following if you already feel like shit, and you're following people that are just gonna make you feel like more yeah. shit. That's yeah. just gonna make you feel even more yeah. shit. So say if you're not in a good place in your life and you're following certain people that you know are doing like say amazing things and all that stuff and you're not in a position to want to see mm. that as well that could potentially mm, yeah. make you feel more shit as well yeah or just because they're doing amazing things and you're you know you're not in a life you're not in a place in your life where you want to be at mm. yet and obviously you're trying so hard but you can't get there yet and people instead of taking that as motivation can sometimes take yeah. that in a very negative way double-edged sword isn't it mm. Mm. yeah yeah definitely because uh how how have you found it with the um on your men have you out come up against much trolls or much negativity oh in your God. direction i have had so many trolls and so much hate mm. i've never had so much hate in my life mm. and i struggle with mental health anyway so mm. depression and anxiety which i well i started probably in uni i struggled really badly with it um due to certain situations that happened unfortunately and obviously you know some things in life can really affect you badly mm. and um when I started doing, well, not intentionally doing Instagram, but getting into it and mm. obviously it started raising up and you notice the amount of people that actually hate. Mm. And I just thought to myself, like, what is actually the reason? Yeah. Because obviously I wasn't in a position in myself, feeling good about myself and I was obviously very depressed. Like it made me more, more mm. depressed. Yeah. Like, I would even get like death threats. Like, wow. yeah, like people saying like, I'm gonna kill you bitch and all this stuff. And I'm thinking, what have I actually done to you? Like mm. I, it really baffles me what goes through people's head as well. And it's just yeah. like, yeah. So I had to turn off all my comments from people who I didn't follow mm. and all my messages from people who I didn't follow yeah. because I really couldn't handle like that happening. Do you know what? Like saying you had death threats then like I, 2016 after that, I sort of had like a four year break from making music. Well, not making music, but like I, I removed myself mm. from the whole social yeah. world of, of, and I was in a bad place. And all it took, right, was one measly negative comment to be the, the straw on the camel's back. And it wasn't even that. And I was like, oh, like, and I couldn't handle it. So like to think like, obviously I'm back a lot more mentally resilient. Like spent four years of like really yeah. doing a lot of shit, but was healthy for myself. Yeah. But like, yeah, like, do you know what I mean? It's like, I look at some accounts and you think, fucking hell, that is harsh. I like, just see mean? people, I just don't get what goes through people's ha like mind. But mm. they must be very, In a very they must place. be very like, you know, upset insecure. with themselves yeah. to be able to obviously put so much hate and wanting to mm. obviously make someone else feel so insecure yeah. and so much hate. Like I have people like, when I say like on Instagram, I don't like being fake. I like mm. being as real as I can and mm. realistic as I can. When I take my pictures, obviously, um, Part of Instagram is a lot of influencers will edit themselves. Mm -hmm. So edit their bodies to look a certain type of way. You know, mm. there's all those apps for them and everything like that. I choose not to edit, mm -hmm. you know, myself. I might tweak a few things, do you know what I mean? Not not my body, but maybe like if my hair's looking a bit mad, do you know what I mean? Mm. You might tweak a few things or I might take something out of a picture, like an mm. object out of a picture or something like that. You might change the lighting on it to make it look a bit brighter. Mm. Everyone will do that. That's yeah. just standard stuff. Mm. But when it comes to obviously the form of over editing yourself, I think that is very, very toxic mm. for yeah. people on social media as well. So because I choose not to do that and obviously I'm a very, you know, slim 
thick, curvy girl. Mm. Obviously, I'm going to have cellulite. I've got stretch marks, all of mm. that stuff, like any other person would, mm. men and women. They mm. all have it. But because I choose not to edit out, people actually hate me for yeah. not doing that. And I remember I had this one comment. I took a picture. I was in shorts and I had, um, like, oh, obviously, you can see the cellulite on the back of my legs. You see the stretch marks. Mm. So I'm proud of it. I'm happy that it's there. I'm very, very proud of my mm. body and the way it is. And people, someone commented, like, uh, one of my friends commented like a like a jokey but nice comment like oh this is fit, and then someone commented going this is not fit this is ugly this is disgusting she needs to get herself to the gym why didn't she airbrush the back of her mm. legs and all stuff and I thought do you know what the same person that's giving me the hate for not editing my body would be mm. the same person giving me hate for editing yeah. my body. Yeah. It's that if you, if you can't say anything nice, just don't, don't say, say it at all. If you've if you seen those things where it's like what you've always got like the overweight guy on the sofa, like stuff in his face of like what's it? Mm. It's like it's like saying something like he's looking at a picture of a girl. He's like her nose is too crooked oh. and shit like that. Do you know what I mean? It's like I know a couple of men like that. It, it's true. It's like it, the, the the people there they're not in a in a in a good place themselves. Yeah. They're, 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 what they are doing, they are projecting their own emotions, you know, emotional insecurities onto, onto, onto other people. And it actually, re- this is why I say, if you're not in a good place mentally and physically on social media, I just don't think it's the best place for someone to be on social no, no. media because obviously when I wasn't in the pos- best position of my life with my anxiety and depression, mm. I didn't project hate on people, mm. but I'd be scrolling through my feed comparing myself yeah. to people. Yeah. Yeah. Like, why can't I look like that? Why can't I have this? Mm. Why can't I do that? Do you know what I mean? And yeah. you, it just it just gets a spiral and it gets so toxic. And you have to learn to take a step back and actually realise, yeah. no, this is my life. Like, this is what you make it. That's mm. other people's lives. Mm. You're, you're two different people. Yeah. But it's the whole, the whole victimhood sort of like mentality in it mm. like why why not me and yeah. it's um yeah. it's easy to fall into i've been there man do you mean i've fucking i've sat there and been a hater i wrote a song once called hater and it was like i went through the whole song like criticizing and then like the last line on it is like um basically saying um this is what i feel about myself so it's like the whole yeah, song you go through yeah, you're thinking i'm yeah. like it's like oh it's like actually i'm projecting my right. internal yeah. my internal thoughts onto yeah. onto the shit and it's like but- it got mm. so much, like, it got so overwhelming at some point with the depression, anxiety, I think last year in December to the point where I actually had to, like, actually post about it on Instagram to be, like, mm. people, like, mm. I'm actually going through something, like, mm. the you don't, un- like, if you understand, then you, but I feel like people that haven't been through it wouldn't actually understand what yeah. it's like, but some people, everyone has experienced some form of anxiety or some yeah. form of depression yeah. in their life, mm-hmm. whether that's feeling anxious about getting exam results, whether yeah. that's, you know, feeling a bit depressed about the way you're looking that day or, you know, an outfit because you're going out and now you're feeling a bit uncomfortable with the way you look. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Everyone's gone through that, but when it's severe depression, anxiety, mm-hmm. unless you actually speak about it, mm-hmm. no one's going to know that you're going through no. it. They just no. think, They'll look at my Instagram and think, oh, she looks really happy. Mm. You know, she looks like she's having a great time living her life, but you don't know what I'm going through mentally. So I just posted it and uh, like, it was quite overwhelming the amount of people that actually came to me and was like, oh, I'm going through this as well. Cause you've come out about it. Like it makes me feel so much more better. Like what's up? I was thinking, what is going on? Like, and these are like young kids as well like people yeah. that was like fif- kids like four, 14 15 years old like girls coming up to mm. me going that they feel insecure mm. and all that stuff and it it all boils down to the point of just social media as a whole yeah there's it's got um, a lot to answer for there's the talking about the young so like there's a kid who lives opposite us he's a couple years older than my boy but he's got a phone my, so my boy's six mm. he's got a phone oh so he's eight <laughs> yeah and he's at the front and like they go over there and they're sat there and they look at the phone and like the kids' parents, like, do not monitor what. Aww. And I'm there, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm in this situation where it's like I don't want to curtail yeah. his freedom on his phone. But, but like, it's like, what do my sense was like? Do I don't can't don't want to stop him hanging around with him. It's like at the same time, it's like shit that. Yeah. Like, see what it does to teenagers, let alone small, small kids. Yeah, but people, you know I mean? yeah, like, but people have committed suicide over social media, mm. and not well, something. He, kids nowadays like when i was younger 
My mum would be like, no, go out and have fun, go play. Like, mm. I would go climb trees. I would go roll yeah. down a hill yeah, full of cow shit. Any of this stuff. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I yeah. Grow up with any of this I grew. I didn't grow up with anything. I didn't grow up with a phone. I grew up. I think at some point, my mum, when she realised I was going out so much, she gave me like one of them like flip phones, like a little trap, trap phone. phone. Do you know what I mean? Like <laughs> one of them razor. trap phones now. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I still got it. You know what I mean? <laughs> no. Um, she gave me one of them. Just put credit on it. Just in, just to call her or if she wanted to for call me. Only. Yeah, just for emergencies only. And I like really respect that. And I just think to myself, it baffles me how it's not like that anymore. Yeah. Mm. Everything's taken over TikTok, iPads. Everyone wants the social media. Everyone wants, you know, kids want iPads for yeah. Christmas. They don't want a bike. They want an iPad now. Mm. Not so. yeah. When I was a kid, I just wanted Barbie dolls and brat dolls and a, mm. the dollhouse. You know what I mean? And yeah. now if, like my sister, when she, because obviously she grew up in the generation of kids growing up with phones and everything like that mm. but not as much as not as bad as it is now because my yeah. sister's 17 mm. but it's it's i still realize the the difference to what it's like now and i feel like if parents are giving their kids like phones iphones or you know <coughs> samsung's or just any sort of electronic phone that you can go on social media go on the internet with they mm. really do have to monitor it yeah closely. absolutely yeah it's um i was reading this, this thing and they were saying that all the people in silicon valley do not they allow their children kids, nah. anywhere near smart devices. And their nannies are not allowed to bring smart devices around them yeah. or anything. They're like, and these are the people making it. It's like, do you mean? But like Carvalho, the other day coming, was like, he was talking about that Momo. And do you know, you heard about that Momo? So it's like, they've got, some guys have made some like fucking weird. Is it that weird mask thing? Doll looking yeah, thing. that's horrible. And enough. what the doll does, it speaks to kids and it gets them to do fucked up shit. Yeah. And like, then I was like, I was, then he could, he said he's been watching this like. He's been watching it? Wait, like he was like, what? talking about Momo, he's talking about It the Clown, he's talking about, I'm like, uh, fucking. Wait, man. what? So basically it's this weird, like, mask thing in it like mm. weird like p weird what's it called momo yeah I've, i heard it about it a few months ago thing, man. man and they're like in telling kids so like this is this is the dark side of influence and when you can have some fucking asshole who creates some weird thing like that to get kids to <clears> me, <throat> that's like the up the other yeah, end this of the spectrum thing. this huh? thing Momo, that fucking thing. And it's like getting kids to do fucked up shit to like mm. other kids. That's other kids, getting them to yeah. harm people yeah, like and harm that. Like, like that. That's like a or horror I'm gonna film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, it's like saying I'm going to come and get you in... in, in like uh, on Black uh, Mirror yeah. and that, when like them things happen. Like, yeah. It's exactly the same. It's, it's like, like, that's actually... Fuck, that, I think that's disgusting as yeah. well. Like kids... Oh, do you know what I mean? Like yeah. these are these are young kids. Like their brains haven't mentally progressed. No. They, so they might think they're doing something because they're being told to do something, but then they're not doing anything wrong because they're being told to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah, they they can't differentiate reality and yeah. And I what's just not, think... at that age, I was reading this thing once, and they were talking about um, psilocybin trials and whether it would work with children. And they were saying with the psilocybin for depression, they were saying it wouldn't work as much on a child because a child's brain is very much like being on psychedelics yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So they're saying if you gave a child psychedelics, the the psychedelic effect wouldn't be as much as it was on an adult because the adult brain is conformed and compartmentalized, but the kid's brain is already laterally like, whoa, like a spectacle of Yeah, yeah. yeah it's just like, journey. yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, with that, like, do you mean it's like already they don't know what's real and it's like an adult on psychedelics, they don't they, know what's They really real. have to monitor this stuff as yeah. well. This is just, it's just getting out of control now. Mm. <laughs> even even hearing about that, even I didn't even know about that, but even hearing about that now, that's just out of control. I thought I was gone. I thought that was yeah. ages ago. Yeah, no, I thought it was a fab, but like when he was saying the other day, he was there and he was, he was talking about it, I was like, so I'm in this situation, it's like now I've got to work out how I how go around and how I... Because you can't dictate to a kid. Because once that can of worms been yeah. opened, it's like, oh, what else can I find? It's yeah, like, it's like when... It's trying to educate the dangers without... It's especially like when kids have phones and tablets and all that stuff. It's, it takes wrong one click to mm. go on something that they shouldn't be going mm. on. Whether that could be, you know, porn or it could be the dark internet yeah. or all that stuff. And mm. it's just going to fill up this kid's heads with ideas and it's just going to... Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. get your kids outside playing, man. Yeah, yeah. Get, go climb yeah. some trees. Like this, this week when we've been away, we've had like no Wi-Fi or no no signal down in Cornwall. It's that been just fucking sounds like beautiful. a dream. Yeah, it's it's been amazing. But it's um, yeah. yeah. I, I wish I could do that. Like, go a week without Wi-Fi or phones or internet. But because it's part money. of my job, yeah, I actually can't. That's sad as well, isn't mm. it? Mm. It's actually sad to think about that as well. The, yeah, I was, I was. So, 
How do you monetize it? What do you mean? What you do. Money size it. How do you monetize it? How monetize do you make money it. off it? Oh, well, I've got an agent mm-hmm. um, for modeling and then I've got an agent for Instagram. Right. So what happens is obviously they'll contact her or they mm. might come in like my DM requests or anything like that. Um, and obviously they might say, we want to collaborate with you. Um, some people might go, what are your fees up front? Which I think is actually very respectful. Mm-hmm. But some people just expect it for free Mm, right and sometimes i will do it for free sometimes i won't it really really just depends depends on the job it depends on the job and it depends what it is if you're getting me if you're getting me just to post a story sometimes i might do it free if if Mm. someone wants promotion for a story at one point i I might charge them i might but it wouldn't be anything expensive Mm. like it might be like 20 30 quid Mm -hmm. or if they want to post it could be like 50 to 200 maybe 300 pounds for the post depending on obviously the product Mm -hmm. how the brand is if Mm -hmm. the big brand's big but i do actually turn down quite a lot of brands because i don't want to work with their product because it's not me as well yeah like i did have on my notes about endorsements actually and that was one of the things we ran to us like vibing with things that are true to you rather yeah. than yeah. Captain Full Sets oh shit I ain't got my beard anymore I was about to say go to promote your beard or anything. I was like fuck I ain't got my beard but fuck it Slave. Captain Full Sets go slay slay, slay <laughs> digital after I, I posted last week up oh. on the one with Banuka because we yeah. went to think about audio plugins mm. and I was so nerdy so nerdy it was really nerdy about like audio <laughs> engineering and I was talking about all the slate products yeah and I, uh, what the caption I put on the Instagram post was like, whether I'm a secret sales agent for Slate Digital. And they followed me from that post. Did they? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah. Getting closer. Yeah. Getting closer. But, um, I was about to say something for that, I fucking forgot. Like, <laughs> fuck, uh, monetizing. Um, endorsements. Endorsements. That. It was yeah, but, staying true to the endorsements. Uh, but it like, it's like, I did a interview, I'd say like last year. Mm-hmm. This one I probably this was August last year, another interview, and I only had about 20,000 followers. And he was, he was asking me if you had Lego come up to you. Mm. Obviously, that's not something that I do. It's not yeah. something that I would ever promote because it's not in my category, mm. if that makes sense. Mm. Not saying it could never be in my category. It could possibly be in my category. Mm-hmm. I'd but love they playing Lego. Send the Lego my way. My that. boy yeah. loves that shit. <laughs> <laughs> but he was like, what if he gave you 10 grand? to promote the Lego and I say I would probably say no because is it? yeah because it's not yeah. it's not me but you, you know could I mean? make it be you could get, instead of going on social media play Lego instead yeah but Lego yeah but then I say <laughs> <laughs> Lego <laughs> what take a picture just holding yeah, it up yeah just holding yeah, but that's brick still, of Lego, it's like. still yeah, not Instagram me Instagram and go and build <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> go play kids <laughs> yeah there you go you can Stop make it about you. stay away from Momo <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no but like it's just it's just not me and it's never yeah, been yeah. me it's more yeah. me as like like fashion or you know like beauty or yeah, hair yeah. or you know just anything in regards to that mm-hmm. or you know even like mental health I mm-hmm. go on about mental health or just skin because I've really struggled with my skin in the past with acne and everything like mm-hmm. that not even as promotions as well sometimes I'll just do it off my own back I'll be like yeah. guys like this is, this a, is a sick product yeah. Like, yeah. this isn't even an ad this is a like, promotion um, what's her name Miss Hinch the cleaning lady. Oh, love her. Do you know what I mean? Love so she's her, gone yeah. from just genuinely like cleaning, talking about cleaning things, and the products that to she now, loves. The, yeah, actually, like I remember you said about it as well when the podcast they had all the things in front of them of products oh, one, yeah, of, that yeah. they actually have, and yeah. then they took the products away, and all the and people, then everyone wanted like, it back. Hang, well, where's our products gone? Yeah. Like, do you mean like just, yeah? And they you got to pay for back. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah Wait, no. that, I remember what I was going to say now. So like the endorsement. So I'm in a, um, a music marketing group, and. Um, a lot of the threads and questions that I see come up in there are about influencers. And obviously we all get the generic like, hey, like fucking I'll dance to your video for this much money and all in the, in the DM. So it's the other way around where mm. the artist is getting approached uh, by like random influencers who aren't. And then you go into, and you can go into like things like Ninja Lytics, which will tell you uh, the analytics of any Instagram profiles. You can go on there and you can see like basically a lot of these like profiles are gash so for me to be able to go back to this uh to the group like your agency where where can artists like music artists seek out authentic influencers and is is there like an agency or or a marketplace that they can go without being bombarded by fake influencers for example see my modeling agents because i've done not not gonna lie probably i've done a couple of music videos Mm. before because that that's how it started off with my modeling i got Mm. signed she found me on instagram we found the agency 
obviously checked that it was legit, everything like that. It was legit. She mm. does all the best music videos mm -hmm. for all the best UK artists in the UK. You know, she's done like Heady One. She's done, I'm trying to think, she's done Tion Wayne. Mm -hmm. She's done, like, she's provided all the models for these artists and yeah, all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. Obviously, you choose what you feel comfortable with to do yeah, at yeah. the end of the day. Yeah. She's not going to put you in a position where you feel uncomfortable mm. doing something that you don't want to do. Yeah. You do what you want to do that makes you yeah, feel yeah. comfortable. So she'll approach you and say, I have this music video, this much money in this area, this many mm. hours, this is what's going to happen. Mm. This is what you're going to do. Are you free? Do you want to do it? Blah, blah, blah. It's not, it's your choice. Yeah, yeah. She doesn't just like automatically be like, you're doing this, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. She's actually very good with what she does and she's very obviously market profiling on how she's doing it as well. She doesn't just do music videos as well. She does the modeling side of things for clothing brands mm -hmm. and all that stuff. So obviously I've done, I started off doing music videos yeah. and that's when you say like the management team or the production team for the music video mm -hmm. will approach a agency mm -hmm. more than just the models themselves. You might actually get the artist sometimes or whoever the artist friends messaging you on Instagram mm -hmm. going, oh, we actually have a music video coming up. Do you want to do this? Yeah. I haven't had that before. It's all gone through my agent. Yeah. But um, so, does your agent deal with stuff like even lower than than just like going to music videos? Stuff like, um, hey, can you like post the song on a story with you listening to it in the car or something like that? Like that would that be that kind more of vibe. my Instagram. Yeah, my Instagram agent because I've got two Instagram agents. Okay. So one that deals with my Instagram promotions, and then one that just deals with the model inside of things. She she could say that, and that would be fine. Do you yeah. know what I mean? That's completely fine. But I haven't. I haven't really had that. I get yeah. I get more people in my DMs messaging me, can you promote my mm. song on your story? Yeah, That's yeah. mainly but I will actually listen to the song yeah, first. Yeah, of course. Because if I don't like it, why am I Why are you plugging it? Yeah. And I'm not it's yeah. not me being rude. It's just, like it said, it's just me being authentic. It's just yeah. me being real. That's well, not that's me. it, because because that's one of the things that always comes <laughs> up again in these threads. It's like it's like, well, Someone who's just offering anyone, it's the same with playlists. So the big thing on the music side of things is people trying to get on Spotify playlists yeah. and people trying to get inf Instagram influencers to, to, put them to, on to, the to post, to post yeah. their, their song to the story or, or, yeah. do a, or a reel or whatever. Yeah. But what we always say is like, if someone is DMing you saying they're an influencer and they'll do it regardless for the money or they've got That's a playlist. Just, yeah, it's, like, well, this, it's not a genuine... I don't see it as authentic. Nah, it's, it's just, not. It's obviously it's someone trying to make money. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. they want money. Yeah, yeah. And that is fair enough. You're on your grind. You're trying to do what you need to do to make that money. Mm -hmm. I, I still respect that. Yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean? I still respect that because you're put... I actually have DM'd brands myself going love your brand, would love to work with you. Mm -hmm. Would you want to do a collaboration? And that's where I might do it on a gifted basis because yeah. I actually want to work with that brand yeah, myself yeah. but obviously in terms of the modeling for that I see that as very similar to that as well because you're putting yourself out there which I mm -hmm. do respect people doing that because you know it's not easy for someone to message people that but mm -hmm. sometimes I just don't know do you know what I mean mm -hmm. like it's just yeah because it's like we always say that the, the way to spot them is like they'll they'll they won't take any they'll listen and then like the, so the the genuine playlist ones for example will say we will say up front, we do not take all songs. We we will listen to your song before we put it on our playlist. Yeah, right? yeah. Because at the end of the day, like a genuine playlist curator cares about music. Yeah. Mm. And yeah. they're not like, why are you going to put something on your music? Yeah, yeah. If you, if it's, you like, it's like a yeah. DJ doing a set. Like you Mate, do it's a like set, you're not in your gonna own just playlist. You can, yeah, it's like creating your own playlist. You're not gonna put a song that you don't like in mm. your own playlist. It's like no. your, it's like your baby, really. isn't it? Yeah, mm. it's like and, your baby. Yeah. It's and like, you, you can see how they, they you can't blame it because a lot of people are like, oh, because people then moan about the ones that are genuinely that they'll they'll still charge you to go on the playlist, and it's like. At the end of the day, these people have worked out a way to make money. They're like the new radio. It's like, mm -hmm. well, no, you want to come on my playlist? I've got you, a big following. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. Exactly. So give me some money, like, so you can respect it from from their side. Yeah. But it's, again, it's it's, it's f filtering out the sharks and the the, the fake ones out there. So it's um yeah it's just, yeah yeah it's just it's a bit mad when I I can imagine artists getting a lot of messages from girls on Instagram as well like big artists going. Um, Oh yeah, I want to go in one of your music videos. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like all of them stuff when really they will actually go to people on an agency or yeah. they will find you because they obviously yeah. want legitimate yeah. people yeah. as well that are for that. I think it's it's more the the non-established artists 
that gets stung yeah 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 because they're still they don't know and it's like you hear these horror stories where they buy onto a playlist or they buy and it's it's got bots on it or something and then the bots will then completely ruin their spotify algorithm Mm. and then the algorithm's no longer showing the track to the people that are genuine into that music because on this playlist is it's yeah it's tacky it's a minefield and i think a lot of the non well they're not not big in the you well the music scene but like you know they're they're up and coming they're trying mm. they're grinding mm. they will use a lot of you know insta instagram girls as well for their music videos mm. and you know a lot of girls will put themselves out there and mm-hmm. obviously do that which like i said is fine do do yeah. your thing make yeah. your money at the yeah, end of the day yeah. no like i am not i don't judge people who do yeah, yeah. like i said i've done a couple of music videos mm-hmm. last year i haven't done a music video since i'd say last year because yeah. i just you know, I just sort of realised it just wasn't for me. Yeah. Mm. Like, it just wasn't. I wanted to get more into, like, the serious side of things and more into, like, the fashion modelling, which mm-hmm. is what I did. I did Boo Avenue not long ago, which is, like, probably the biggest shoot that I've had of my modelling career. Mm. I've done, um, you know, brands for Instagram, for clothing brands that are up and coming as well, like mm-hmm. bikini brands, obviously normal clothing brands as yeah. well. Mm. And, but people g- girls on instagram it's, it's a bit of a touchy subject as well it's a very touch touchy subject when it comes to modeling and girls doing music videos as well because there's so much is it controversy mm-hmm. in regards to it like mm-hmm. people some people do not respect it they mm-hmm. think it's like why are you putting yourself out there like that why yeah. are you doing that yeah. and then some people are like oh do you know what just do what you want to do at the end they've of the day. got they, there's the same thing with um people in tv who look down on YouTubers is the same sort of thing as well. Mm. And it's like yeah, people guess. like in the TV realm looking down on a YouTuber, mm. but a YouTuber's doing their thing, man. Yeah. Do you mean they're out there? They're fucking, they're, they're making money. They're, they're doing yeah. their thing. And I actually think people on YouTube have got more freedom than what well, they have. Because you think can they have got more freedom. Do, you can upload what you want. Exactly. Unless, unless you've obviously got an agent or a management team from for YouTube because you're so mm. big telling you, you really can't post this. You really mm. can't say yeah. that, blah, blah, blah. You, you just do what you want yeah. at the end yeah. of the day. Because it's your channel yeah. you've made it do what the fuck you want yeah. with it do you think like some influencers are actually seeking to be an influencer or they're just like trying to seek mass attention what like clout yeah <laughs> yeah yeah I would say that I would say obviously it's a touchy subject again mm, and you don't I mean. you don't want to make too many comments on it because you're you're doing it yourself as yeah. well and the thing is like most people i see on instagram like who i follow are people mm. that i obviously personally choose to follow because mm. that's what i like seeing on my feed that's people actually doing their job doing what i do the same thing mm. people that being authentic being themselves all my yeah. friends do you know mm-hmm. what i mean all my friends my family mm-hmm. as well but people that do instagram for clout or anything like that it's very i just don't get it yeah mm. it's like it's like it's like they pe- some people got crave attention whether you do instagram or not mm-hmm. even just in the normal life mm. people crave attention yeah and where else are you going to get that attention other mm. than instagram and if you're a fine looking woman if you're like a an attractive man anything like that you start posting pictures of yourself because you want your attention and everything like that Mm. it is of or you want to get somewhere in life or you know you aspire to do what what someone else does or say if you want to be with someone who has a blue tick or all that stuff like people actually think like that it's 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 like from the offline world, it's the same as like in, in real life as well, though. I suppose it's like you say to someone, someone looks at a job that pays well. And they're like, that pays well. Without actually taking into account of like what the job is and they don't actually like the job. And it's like mm. the whole, the old saying in it, like find a job you love and you'll never work a day in your life. Mm. It's like, do you know what I mean? It's yeah. like do it for the love in the yeah. beginning and eventually the you, money it would will all come. come. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, yeah. I love, I love doing Instagram. Mm. Like I, at some points, don't get me wrong. I hate it. Yeah. I hate it because there's obviously you have your down days mm. and you don't, I don't want to get ready. I don't want to, mm. I just, so I just upload a couple of stories of me just being myself, no makeup in bed. Just mm. what I mean, messing around, dancing. I just don't care. That's that's what you're going to get today yeah. because I cannot be bothered so to do are, anything are, else. Are you, are, you, are you in the full control of your Instagram account and you upload everything yourself? You, yeah, you yeah. The- I decide what I want to upload. I decide what I want to post. Obviously, with my agent from Instagram, mm. she just controls the sides of collaborations. Yeah, yeah. And say if there's like... Um, 
Instagram events to go mm. to for like a clothing brand or something like that. She might email me about that saying, uh, whoever this brand is having an event on this weekend, are you free? Do you want to yeah. go? Mm. They've invited you. I'll either say I'm free or not. Mm-hmm. Um, or they'll, she'll just message me a website link and say this person wants to do a collaboration with you she'll either say this is how much money they're obviously mm-hmm. offering you and obviously they will take a percentage because if you have an agent and management you can't expect them not to take a yeah, percentage yeah, yeah, yeah. they're not going to do it all for free mm-hmm. but um, sometimes it will be gifted as well yeah, and yeah. which I'd like I said I don't mind when mm-hmm. it's when sometimes you're getting clothes or makeup or stuff that you actually really love yeah. and you like yeah. you will do it for free yeah, yeah because of course I, I generally can't remember the last time I bought a clothing item for myself. Mm. Come on. Goals. Do you know Because I, I said that. So do you, do you follow like a, a schedule with what you post or you just post I just post freely? when I want. Because like... Uh, do, you, do you post like a certain amount of day though? Like do you post like three posts a day or... Oh, I would never... I don't or? think I'd ever post... I think everyone would get pissed off at me if I start posting three days a day. Mm. I'd be like, oh second post of the day have my face again guys third post oh god guys you're being spoiled you know what I mean but no like I wouldn't I would always post either just like once a day mm. on like normal post if I've taken pictures the same day and I've already uploaded a picture and I think I look fine as fuck then I might just upload it because I'm too I'm like oh my god I look so good yeah. I have to show everyone that I look good in this right now so I might post it or like I might do a little preview on my story on my story I just post whatever the fuck I want yeah, yeah. that's that my story is where I will be an idiot yeah, yeah. yeah that is it and then the page is more polished the page is more polished sometimes I do like the little photo or video dumps on my page mm. which is just like me being myself and yeah, yeah. just like random you know just a dump box of mm. stuff that I've just collected and I just want to upload because I just want to share it because I, I find Instagram almost being a full-time job oh, for myself yeah like and I, I had like I went to have a week off Right, <laughs> this was going back about a month or two ago, mm. and I've just not gone back to it because it's just been like, oh, because I was like for about a year, right? <laughs> Free. I, I'm done. For about a year, I was so one post a day. At one point, I was doing one post a day, one IGTV a day, one real oh, day. Oh no, I and couldn't. then at least five stories a day. Oh wow! And I burnt myself out, and I was like, this is just me posting content, but then it's like no one was really following what I was doing because it was just so much, and I was like and I just burnt myself into a grind yeah. and like I was never really taking back the time to create what I was really wanting to create because it was like I was doing a thing called Daily Bars where I was writing I'd write for 30 minutes a day and then I'd spit what I wrote that day over something and I'd batch them for seven days and batch them throughout the week then I'd have my regular picture posts or video posts throughout the week so on a Monday it would be like whatever Monday whatever the theme was and it'd be something of me telling a backstory about something I mean it was all authentic like what I was saying yeah, like, it, it yeah. was all interesting it was, if you're it a was fan. just but it was just like it was too much and I just burnt myself out and now I'm like trying to like creep my way back into Instagram yeah. without like it's, it's doing a, that I couldn't see I burn myself out so quickly because obviously I do modeling and then also I have a normal job as well mm. that I do I just find that doing Instagram every day is is so actually tiring yeah, it because is. I tried doing that. I tried taking pictures every day. I mm. tried doing what I can every day. Then I just realised actually I've got to think smart. Mm-hmm. I've got to work smart. Yeah. yeah. So I just take one day out of my week, or one day, or two days at every two weeks, and I will literally take loads of pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Do my hair in a different style. Whack on a different lipstick. Mm-hmm. Whack on a different outfit. Mm-hmm. Go take it around the corner. Go take it out there. Blah blah blah. And then I'll just upload it throughout yeah, the week. Yeah. And then I find that's like the easiest thing mm-hmm. to do. Or say if I've got a lot of time of my hands, like a lot of time of my hands. Like I was in self isolation for ten days because I got COVID, mm-hmm. which was just fucked. That was oh, the last time you were meant to come on, actually. Oh yeah, yeah. Did, did you have? Did you have bad effects? Did it affect um, you badly? I'd say yes and no because I had a problem with my kidneys at the same time. No, oh, okay. So I was very like, it was very up and down. Like some days I would have a lot of energy, but that energy would last for an hour Mm. and then I'd want to go sleep for three hours or like my nose was constantly blocked. Like my nose would hurt when I'd smell certain things Mm. as well. Um, Was it like vinegar based or mustard based stuff? Yeah, like anything or just like, just any like, say if you're cooking and like the smoke's going up and oh my God, it would just really hurt. And I'm like, oh my God. Mm. I just need to move away or direct sunlight. It actually hurts. Like even my eyes now are so mm. affected by it. Even mm. looking in the light, it hurts. Mm. And the coffin as well. The coffin, it would keep you up all night. It was bad. Mm. But I had those 10 days self-isolation and I was just like, I'm just going to work 
like do Instagram inside. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I'm just going to mm. do what I can. So I, I started doing more like IGTVs and mm. reels and all that stuff. And then once self isolation was done, I was done with that. Because <laughs> I don't have the time and energy <laughs> yeah. to do it again. I, yeah. yeah. I'm it's, like, I'm outside now. I can go back out. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is because it's uh, the burnout is real, and the batching thing is smart as well because it's just not batching as much. What I find, but like yeah. Yeah, the batching thing, like what you said, it's because I remember um, Damo saying in the music marketing group, and then he said like, "Look, he put done his five most important things for a music artist," and he was like, "Photo shoot." was like one or two he's mm. like look get yourself a photo shoot once a month whether it's a mate doing it whether you can afford a professional do it he mm. goes but just have one photo shoot per month or a week if you can like do you mean but you've then got your photos yeah you yeah. don't have to worry about it like yeah you mean, and then like, you can just post when you want and you've just got them pictures you've got there, them there. Yeah. i know a lot caption. of my friend like clothing brands do that do you know what i mean when they do the photo shoots for clothes they'll mm. do the clothes and then they'll upload it when they want yeah. and how they want. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very smart for people to yeah. do that. And if I was gonna suggest anyone to, who wants to do Instagram, mm. tries to do Instagram or is trying to do Instagram and they feel like it's too exhausting or too much work, just take one day out of the week. Mm -hmm. Just take two days out of two weeks. I mean, just take it when you can and as and when you can. Don't yeah. don't burn yourself out trying to do things every day and try and obviously, Pete, I respect people's grind so much as well. Mm -hmm. People work so hard mm -hmm. and especially to see where they've come from where they were before to, you, you know, like, I've used Molly May before already, but the example of that, obviously she was a Love Island, like she went on Love Island mm. and the grind that she's done outside of that, people actually think that she's just had things handed to her like that. She has yeah. actually, if you look The iceberg the back, of success, innit? Yeah, you ever the, seen the, the picture with the iceberg and it's like, what people see yeah, yeah they yeah, see the yeah. tip of the iceberg people but they don't, don't see all the, the ice the under the water of, like, of what yeah. happens like people probably think like i get asked the question of lot as well it's like how did you start instagram like you blew up like you just blew up in a year mm. and i was just like uh they're like oh it's just because you're pretty mm. and i'm like ah i wouldn't say that like yeah. it's because i know loads of girls that are pretty on instagram and they've only got a thousand followers and it's just it's so. like the way you market <laughs> you yourself and yeah. you get out there you, you network do you know what i mean like mm. when my agents obviously with modeling or instagram invite me to these parties mm. or doing all this stuff you you go there and you network whether yeah. it's just someone having a party or that stuff actually if you want to get yourself out there you're mm -hmm. going to need to go do these things yeah. as well mm. it's really not just going to happen overnight it's that I could, uh, when we had Corey Rose on the other week and he actually like give me like a light bulb moment when he was talking about what he did with his music so he was saying he would go out like remember yeah, the, yeah, back in the day when you'd have people trying to sell you mixtapes uh, and like they don't anymore and he said well, he went and done it now, but like digitally. And I was like, oh my God, that's amazing. Yeah. Because you're in the real world because it's like, there's only so many times you can go on Instagram and beg someone to like listen to your yeah, music on yeah. Spotify. But if you go out in the real world and you speak to this person in real life, you're not asking someone to buy your mixtape anymore. It's like, oh, just subscribe. You're getting a subscription there and then. And if they like it, do you know what I mean? It's like, you're actually, actually in the real world. Yeah. I was actually in London people. not long ago and um, it was um, on the street and I had some guy come up to me going, you want my mixtape? You want to buy my mixtape from me? Like, Did you say, actually yeah. giving me... No. Oh, you should have. <laughs> I would have bought it. If I anyone would, I, asks I, for a mixtape... I, no, really, no. I feel really no, bad. We've got 10 minutes yeah, I've, I've, I've bought I'll, it. I'll come grab um, you in 10 minutes. Yeah, this kid was going around with headphones. So he was like, do you want to listen to my new song? Boom. And people were like, yeah, listen to it. Oh, subscribe, follow me, like the song. Yeah. And they were like, yeah, cool. I feel like it's all done electronically now, though. So if you try handing someone a mixtape, a CD, I don't know where the hell I'm going to put that. In the car. Yeah. I re I remember In the car. But I remember watching a video and it, uh, it was, he's like, look, I'm going to do this. My car hasn't even got a CD player. My MacBook hasn't got a CD <laughs> it player. It doesn't have it, yeah. Um, I think because I, I did it. I did it with the vinyls and I did it like, I'd done it too soon, man. It's like freaking, you need like people who are like, already just want to buy it just because they can have something of yours before like yeah. trying to push a physical product So then they feel like they the have world. that and then when you blow up or whatever you can be like oh I have yeah. it. Do you know what I mean? Like a memory kind of thing. And like I said I respect the grind still yeah. as well. Like you going out on the street and still trying to sew a mixtape. I still respect the grind. Yeah. Like anything no matter what people do like obviously girls that do OnlyFans and mm. all that stuff like do That's your thing. That's all stopping isn't it? Huh? That's, That's all, all stopping in October which I yeah, actually How come? I don't know. Um, like UK laws or something like right. that. They go, people can't use it for explicit content anymore. Right. Because Wiley's on there, isn't he? Yeah. 
Is he? Yeah. Mm. So after so after like after, after oh, no, but, DJ Khaled, but, but like no, but after Wiley got removed from everywhere, explicit, they don't have explicit. Content. No, 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 no. no. His, it, for his music originally, too, Wiley originally got removed it from everywhere, but he got uh, his whole council started like that. It wasn't mm. like for it wasn't porn for and shit. that. It was for it was for just people doing business and yeah. all that stuff. And I've even had people say to me, "Why don't you post some of your stuff on OnlyFans?" Like I've actually had some people message me, like say when I've promoted like bikinis and all that mm. stuff. Mm. People would pay for this. I like people would actually mm. pay to see yeah. that, and I'm like but I'm getting paid from that brand mm, for people yeah, to see it yeah. anyway. And they're like, so why don't you just do OnlyFans? And I, like, I don't know how to approach it in a way that it's not offending yeah. everyone else. Because like I said, if you want to do OnlyFans, do OnlyFans. Yeah, do that's, thing, that's what you want to do. And I don't, I don't yeah. judge it. Like, that's mm. you. But for me, that's just not something that I personally would want to get into, whether it was bikini pictures or mm. lingerie. Yeah. It's just not... It's just, it's my Instagram at the end of the day. Yeah, and I'm, yeah, people yeah. don't realise I'm not doing this for free either. Mm-hmm. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like I'm getting paid, whether it's a <coughs> pair of shoes, I'm getting paid. Yeah. Not all the time, but it's, it happens. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. people say, why don't you do OnlyFans? Like the amount of DMs I get of guys asking me for my OnlyFans as well. And I'm like, I don't have it. <laughs> the, the, someone, my mate the other day, he said that he was going to, um, <laughs> he was going to do a reverse OnlyFans and keep sending pictures of his dick to loads of people until they pay him to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that, Brendan? Nah, That's Golden Place. Like a Brendan, he's, he's, um, <laughs> so he's a one-man band, but he like does this whole gimmick thing where he, <laughs> he plays all the characters in the band. So like one day yeah. he might be the Amazing, bass player in that. Bro. But yeah, he just put it up and he was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna keep sending dick pics to everyone until, <laughs> oh they, until they stop until they pay me to stop." I think I would just delete my whole Instagram after that. I'm like, I ain't paying you for shit. I'm just gonna delete it. Yeah, well, That's amazing. Yeah, I find yeah. it hilarious, man. But I get so many dear like the amount of th- I get dick pics all the time as well. Really? Honestly, and I just think what goes through. I don't. <laughs> No, no one is like, I know, I know, I'll send her a dick pic. I know what she'll like. That, she'll really that, like this. She will definitely go for a date with me after that, won't she? No, oh, fucking hell. I just think just stop like, it. Like, I, see, I understand the psychology of a troll. Yeah, I don't. No, I don't, of, I of don't understand, the don't understand the psychology of someone of, who's sending of, no, dick pics to troll, someone. Of an yeah. actual troll, someone that, because I'm a troll, mm. yeah, but not. I don't bully people, yeah. but I'm a troll. That's what I do. Like, that's all I do at work. I just troll people. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but I, mean, I don't do things brick. to upset people, like, <laughs> to, like, really get to them. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. But just being a troll and just taking the piss and kind of... Oh, yeah, people, like, banner. Really... Do you know what I mean? Like, you take the piss and you just do banner. Yeah. And all that stuff, but there's a fine line that you cross to actually upsetting someone yeah, 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 to what you fuck. say and yeah. all that. But even, like, the upsetting thing, I still understand that psychology. I understand yeah, that yeah, person, yeah, that place, yeah, but yeah. I, I don't understand... The dick pic. The a dick, dick pic. <laughs> like, I don't understand... I don't understand like... them in just normal, everyday life yeah. anyway. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like, like... if anyone's listening to this and you sent me a dick pic, please stop. <laughs> <laughs> please stop, I beg you. She doesn't want that. I don't want it. I will block you straight away. Yeah. And I will Whilst we're get on the like um, subject of dicks. Um, oh God, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> what have I got C- myself carrying into? Carrying on from our conversation last week. What? Why did girls fake it? <laughs> oh my god wait because oh. I swear we've only got about five ten minutes left so, yeah Chris why, is that, sorry, why do problem? girls fake it yeah oh, what have I got myself into <laughs> <laughs> guys I have like 15 year old girl followers <laughs> okay um oh <laughs> I don't know what to say maybe maybe they're with someone that they actually really like mm. and say they're just getting obviously they're just started dating or they're just mm. getting into things mm. yep. they obviously don't want to upset a guy's ego they don't want to upset anyone why don't they say do this no because sometimes I think it's actually very hard to say that you're not doing this right because I- on behalf of all men well, I'm speaking for myself, but I speak for most men that I've spoken to. They'd rather you just say No, I know this. that they'd rather you say that. That's yeah. the thing. Girls would would actually know that they'd rather you say that. Mm. But it's, it's the hard one, it's, it's actually to have. do you know it's just like actually getting it out. Mm. See, I don't think I don't think it should be. I just think people It shouldn't should be, be more but honest. again it's this it's like it's, it's, hard. it's, it's the it's, psychology not, of it, isn't it? You're not in the girl that yes. girl's position though. Do you know what yeah, I mean? I, guess and so. it, I think sometimes like girls might actually get a bit scared of how guys might act mm. in regards to saying, oh, if they ask, oh, did you come then? And they say no. And then they're like, what? Yeah. But I, I suppose it's like the same psychology of like asking for a promotion at work. Like you're, 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 
your your probably thoughts are going through your head of like this yeah. might happen or this yeah, and you're talking yeah. yourself out and you of think it. especially you know I mean? girls yeah. that have probably been in like bar, bad situations or bad positions mm. before which i could definitely say mm. for myself like yeah. obviously i guess i'm not a girl as well no yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah. I'm sure. Do you, know I mean? do you know what I mean? That's why I said you're not. You're not in the. Hang on a minute. Position. A few weeks ago, you said you were in touch with your feminine side. Yeah, <laughs> I am. I'm divine feminine. No, but, but like what I'm saying is, guys don't don't will not understand women yeah. from their point of view because mm. they're not actually mm. they're not women. Know, they're not the female. Mm. You're you're the man, and the thing is, you don't understand it from a girl's position or their from their perspective. So if they fake it, it might not be intentional they they might just do it because they want to get it fucking over and done with because it's the most shittest thing they've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what i mean yeah. mm. they might just want to do that but then on the other side they might actually just care about what the other person yeah. thinks and they might just think no i actually would rather not hurt someone's feelings mm. because women are like that they'd rather not yeah hurt someone's feelings and yeah. to that as well and just leave it even if it's like maybe like say if a girl's had a one night stand and they still faked it they'd rather just not hurt their feelings mm. and they'd rather just leave it so I remember, they do it because they're nice yeah Cool. There's, there's but the... I just, I just feel like women shouldn't have to do that as well. Mm. Do you what? Not fake it. No. I don't think. They I don't think they should. Because I, think they should I feel like it's just. I think a relationship is better for from the start. You was like, just be real, like, man. Just, if they, they, they gonna benefit it. If, unless the guy's a fucking asshole mm. who Which does have an ego gonna be like, yeah there, yeah there are <laughs> but like do you mean it's like you then work together so if it's like something that's gonna pleasure both of you it's like well, okay i can work with you on this it's like mm. i feel like only me. really that happens when you're in like a very connected relationship yeah, yeah. or you very much like someone and it's very more deep and meaningful yeah. that you'll actually i feel like sex is so much better when you've got such a connection with person yeah, yeah. and it's not meaningless as well so if you have such a connection with someone it's going to feel 10 times better yeah. anyway because you're both enjoying the experience and the girls will feel more if the guy makes a girl feel more comfortable to be able to tell like for her to be able to yeah. say mm. it's all about comfortable being comfortable as mm. well like if a girl's not comfortable like do you know what I mean? Like, mm. it's actually really sad that some people don't feel comfortable having sex with people as well. Yeah. They, they might just do it because they're just like, fuck it, we'll just get it over and done with. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because some people, not saying just guys, but girls as well, press the fact of, oh yeah, I want to have sex with you, blah, blah. And some people feel pressured. Yeah. And it's, it's that's, I feel like that's kind of like rape as well. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Because yeah. that yeah, person, of, whether it's a man yeah. or a woman, whether they want to do it or not, and they're not going to enjoy it, so they no. most likely are going to fake yeah. it, whether or not, and they just want to get it. Over it shouldn't be a a thing like that. It should be very natural, and it's like they say as well, like um, an orgasm is one of the things that is a transcendental moment. Like it's a very mm. spiritual moment. Yeah, and it, like it's it's almost on the, in the realm of psychedelics. Yes, and if, if if you have got a deeper connection, and there's two of you, and you you both orgasm at the same time. Yeah, which I can say has probably happened twice in my mm. life really yeah to orgasm at the same time yeah, it's very so. that, yeah like but was she faking it no <laughs> <laughs> right, so, so, right, do you know what my response to that is right there's certain faces and there's certain noises that nobody wants to make mm. right and when those noises and those faces <laughs> come out there's something's happened I, yeah. I just I just feel like if I feel like sex is a very like sacred thing as well. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And if I was given advice, which I have done to friends and stuff like that, obviously I've had meaningless sex before as well, mm. like any person mm. would. Mm. And I'm not saying I haven't done it a lot because it was shit. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And that's just not, you don't want that. And if I'm going to suggest it to anyone, I'm saying do it with someone that you yeah, actually yeah. connect yeah, with. Yeah. Maybe someone that you love or mm. you're, you know, bonding feelings for just mm -hmm. someone that you actually really connect with and then it will actually feel much nicer. Yeah, yeah. And also don't have sex with someone who's in a bad mentality and a bad state mm -hmm. because that emotions are gonna latch onto you as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. If you're fucking with someone that's in a bad position yeah. and a bad state themselves, that's really gonna affect affect you as well. It's like if your friends who you're with if they're bad for you, that's going to reflect onto yeah. you as well. Yeah. Especially, if, like like I said, sex is a spiritual thing. Mm -hmm. It's not something that should be taken lightly. And these people having sex left, right and centre, yeah. do what you want to do yeah. at the end of the day. It's that's like the you. whole, whole no-fap thing as well, isn't it? But like, the, with the, from, from the man, like, the no, the no wanking, it's like, how 
from not masturbating how you feel is fucking so much better. Mate, it's insane. Like you're, you're so energetic. You know what I mean? It's like rather, I wouldn't understand. Like, I mean, from, I'm not from a man. From, from a man's like a, a when you when when you masturbate and you and you come. That's it. Like after you just feel like this like Empty. dead fish. I've had a just conversation. Like, yeah, I've had a and you feel like really like almost like this like it's like this underlying like almost like guilt. It's like, yeah, I've had, like, yeah. Done to myself. Yeah. <laughs> I've had a I've had a conversation. I've soiled yeah. myself. Like, yeah. yeah, it's horrible, man. And I've had a conversation with someone like that before where it's just like How many minutes? Who saw themselves? <laughs> <laughs> huh? <Jimson>. How many <laughs> minutes? Uh, five minutes left. Ah, oh, let's go. Let's move on to your Good personal next. meaning of life. Oh Sophie. what? My personal meaning of life. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I don't, I don't know what you mean by that. <laughs> well, what, what's, what's your, what is your current ethos in life that you live by? What that I live by? Yeah. Just like, fuck it. Fuck. That's what, that's all I could say is fuck it. Like do what you want to do in life. Mm -hmm. Do mm. what makes you happy at the end of the day and fuck what anyone else says. Yeah, yeah. That's the mentality that I've had to grow when doing Instagram mm -hmm. as well. It's just like, well, if I like it, I'm going to wear it and fuck what you say. Yeah. Later, I might look back and be like, do you know what? That person was right. Yeah. And it's always my mum. I always get, my mum was like, no, Sophie, that just doesn't look right. And I'm like, no, mum, I love it. All this stuff. I've always been like that though. And she's just like, okay, okay. Don't say I ever told you so. And then a few months or years later, I'll be like, mum, you were right. why you were right. did I do that? And then she'd be like, I was right. But you no, know, but when I say like, fuck it, do what you want. That's the mentality I've always yeah. had. Like, mm. if I want to wear that, if I want to act like that, if I want to scream and shout, I will fucking just do it. And it's good you find that so young because it's like some people don't ever find that because no. what if this is it? What if this is all we have? Mm. When we die, that's it. Mm. Like, you live like that and it's like, I'm going to die soon. Yeah. Each day is going to be more like fucking, hang on a minute. I haven't got time to be wasted on these fucking lower emotions. That's what I, yeah, that's what I realised. I thought, even though like I suffer with anxiety and depression, mm -hmm. it was more like, no, you sort of just have to pick yourself up. Mm -hmm. No one else is going to pick you up other no. than yourself at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And like my advice to anyone who is dealing with depression or anxiety, just do everything for yourself to make yeah. yourself happy and just stop dwelling on the what ifs or the buts and all that stuff. Just do it. Mm -hmm. Like, just do it. If you, if you want to go out, do it. If you want to date that person, do it. Like, mm -hmm. If whoever judges, whoever does it, they're, they're not anything to you. That's just another human being. But mm -hmm. who are they to you? Yeah, yeah. Are they actually someone in your life special to you? Or are they just a random person? Yeah. But at the end of the day, everyone's human beings. Everyone's going to have, everyone's going to judge someone. Mm -hmm. But just do what you want to do. You are going to get judged or hated no mm -hmm. matter what you do. So you might as well just fucking do it. Yeah. So fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck, fuck it. it. I think that's. I think that is a beautiful note to finish it yeah. on. And I don't really want to say much more after that. So like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. And fuck it. Fuck, fuck it. it. <laughs> Sophie, Cloudy Lemonade, Iron Brew. Iron Brew.